Thanks for joining me, I'm Corel Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this video I'll demonstrate how to use the Secret Garden Brush Pack for Corel Painter Essentials. I'll start with the first brush, which is called Blossoms. I'm going to create a new layer to paint on, and I'm going to set the composite method to screen. I'm doing that because many of these brushes are glow brushes and they build up to white gradually. Screen just helps the layer blend with the layers underneath and it looks more like light. Because this is a glow brush, I'm going to choose a color that's going to be darker than what I expect to get. I'll go ahead and paint here, and you can see I can build up these blossoms. If I keep painting over the same spot, then they start to get brighter and brighter. If I make my color a bit lighter, then you can see it builds up a little bit differently, but it has those nice glowing edges. So these could be little clumps of blossoms hanging from a tree. Now when you're in the screen composite method, as I mentioned earlier, it's going to blend with the layers underneath. So when you have two lights on top of each other, they kind of blend together. If you want this to be more opaque, you can change it back to a normal or a default composite method. Now it'll still kind of look like it's glowing and it'll be opaque, but that may or may not be the effect that you want. If it's over in a dark area, it doesn't look too bad, but if you overlap it on top of something else that's a light, it may or may not make sense. Moving on to the next brush, we have Dappled. I'm gonna set the composite method of this layer to screen, and I'll choose kind of a blue-gray like this. Dappled gives us a nice dappled light pattern. So there's light going in between shadows. The next brush is called Fireflies. I'm gonna choose a yellow-green color like this. If I paint with light pressure, I'll get small fireflies. If I paint with heavy pressure, I'll get bigger fireflies. And I can vary my pen pressure like this to get a variety of sizes. And I could have some little fireflies back here in the distance and some on the foreground. You can also do vertical brush strokes and that will give you softer, fainter fireflies, but horizontal tends to work better. The next brush is called Glow Bloom. I used it for these pine trees here in the background. I'm gonna select a dark blue and I'll just paint straight up and down like this, building it up to create kind of a pine tree. You could also tap and hold on the ground in one spot to create something that looks kind of like flower petals. If I make my brush bigger, then those flower petals will be bigger, and I can tap down here on the ground, put in a few flowers down here as well. The next brush is called Glow Bunch. I'm gonna select a greenish color like this, and we can use this to put in bunches of leaves. This works really well to build up some foliage. Next is Glow Bush. I can use this to put in some glowing bushes. I have them be all sorts of colors. Next is Glow Stem, and we can use Glow Stem along with a dark green color like this to create some nice stems. Now they don't always come out exactly where you think they're going to. They're a little bit random, but that helps it look a little bit more natural. And then of course, on top of those stems, you can use some of these other brushes, such as Glow Bloom, to put in a nice flower on top. The next brush is Glow Weed. I'm going to choose kind of a greenish color like this. And I'll pull up kind of a wiggly stroke like this. And I can make this a nice glowing plant. And again, you can play with the composite method to see if default works better or if screen works better. I think in this case, default works fine. The next brush is Neon Leaf. I'm going to select a bright green and I'll pull some little leaves off of this plant here. If I do a stroke up here in the sky, you can see I can make these nice wavy leaves that kind of look like corn leaves. You can get a lot of nice movement out of them. The next brush is called Neon Plant. Go ahead and select a yellowish green like this. And all I need to do is just pull up and curve over to create these plants that have a lot of different textured leaves on them. And again, if you want to change the composite method to screen, it might look more like light. So there you go, that's how you can use the Secret Garden Essentials Brush Pack for Painter Essentials. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button, and if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe if you'd like more Corel Painter tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.